Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Ofiq Suhaf Bari Fazila So today uh, Our group will be Presenting about our report Our second report which is The heat pump So uh, our group consists of Five students Lim Zeng Wei, Muhammad Wafiq Muhammad Zikri Nami, Muhammad Arid Ilham Radin Kul Sipijana And lastly, me myself Muhammad Wafiq Suhaf Bari Fazila So let's proceed to the introduction. The heat pump is a mechanism which uses the heat from the waste or the surrounding source to produce a valuable heat. Uh, the concept of the heat pump is uh, when the medium releases the heat at high temperature after a chemical or a physical transformation. Heat pump technology is becoming more and more prevalent in various industry. It also has the advantage as It includes lower energy consumption, better working condition, and lastly, uh, faster installation. Basically, there are four cycle, the same process in the heat pump. First, evaporation at low pressure and temperature absorbing heat from the cold space. Second, compression to a high pressure by input. Cooling and condensation at high pressure and temperature delivering heat to the hot space and lastly uh, expansion by throttling through above from the high pressure to the low pressure I will be passing this presentation to my next team Assalamualaikum and good morning I am Radin Kusiki Yana and A18234 from group 4 we will be presenting on the procedure for heat pump laboratory first the pipe is connected to the water supply To, uh, from the water supply to the inlet of the condenser K and then the other pipe is connected from the outlet of the condenser L for, uh, for the water to drain off directly next the main switch is turned on D and the digital's display is allowed to start up for a few seconds before the experiment is carried out Third, the computer is turned on and the software for the mechanical heat pump unit is started and the instructions from the software setup is followed. Then the open the water supply J and let the water flow to circulate within the condenser. Within the condenser. After that, open the drain valve to ensure that the condenser can work well under low water pressure. Fifth is the volume flow rate is adjusted at 10 liter per meter via the flow control valve as displayed by the digital flow meter. All the initial temperature points are ensured to be the same as the room temperature. Sixth, the compressor C is switched on when the water temperature T1 inlet and also the T2 outlet is almost equal and the system is allowed to operate for 1 to 2 minutes before performing the experiment. Seventh, next set the fan selector O at one fan. From the fan, all the readings of the water temperature T1 and T2 from the temperature indicators after two minutes are recorded the raw data table one is tabulated nine um, the heat transfer rate condenser heat load heat pump coefficient of performance cop and also the refrigerator coefficient performance are calculated lastly the experiment is repeated with different flow rate and uh, these three different sets of results are tried to be obtained. Hi everyone, my name is Lim Zhenwei, and now I will continue with the result and calculations part. From this table, we can see that there's four conditions of valve that we can conduct in our experiment. The first one is fully opened, 60% opened, 20% opened, and finally fully closed. From this table, we can see that it, the flow rate for each condition of WAF respectively is 68.3%, 40.98%, 30.3%, and 
13.66% and the last one is 0.9%. From this table, we can see that the temperature and the pressure data that we are collecting from the experiment. And this will be the graph that from our conducted experiment. When we come to the fully open valve, there are three conditions that we can consider. The first one, at T1, is equal to 21.8 degrees C. The H1 that you can gain is 262.54 kJ per kg. And the second condition, at T2, is equal to 67.6 degrees C. The H star we can get is 305.95 kJ per kg and 304.46 kJ per kg. While H2 we can get is 305.16 kJ per kg. When we come to the third condition, at T3 equals to 28.7 degrees C, the H3 that we can get is 91.7 kJ per kg. And finally, the coefficient of performance that we can gain is 5.008. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Amafis and today I would like to continue for result and calculation for 60% opening valve. So for 60% opening valve, there are four conditions. At T1 equal to 22.6 degrees Celsius, we will get H1 is equal to 626.95 kJ per kg. And for the second condition, at 70 degrees Celsius, we will get H2 uh, 307 and 0.55 kg uh, kJ per kg and for the third condition we uh, uh, equal to 29.1 degrees Celsius we will get the H3 equal to 92.28 kJ per kg and lastly for the condition uh, for the fourth condition we have T4 equal to 50 15.3 degrees Celsius and we get the H4 to 259.08 kJ per kg. Then for the coefficient of performance, uh, we will get the last value is 4.827. Next for the 20% opening valve, they also have uh, four conditions. T equal T1 equal to 22.2 degrees Celsius, we will get the H1 is equal to 262.74 kJ per kg. Next, for the T2 equal to 73.4 degrees Celsius, we will get the H2 is equal to 310.90 kJ per kg. Then the third condition, 33. T3 equal to 29.2 degrees Celsius and the H3 will get 92.42 kJ per, per kg or equal to 14.9 degrees Celsius we will, hash, we will have H4 equal to 258.86 kJ per second and lastly for the coefficient of performance we will get 4.537 ok next uh, I will go with the fully closed. At T1, 22.4 degrees Celsius, we can get the enthalpy 1, 262.64 kJ per kilogram. At the T2, 75.8 degrees Celsius, and Pascal, zero, uh, Pascal pressure to 0.743 megapascal, we can get the enthalpy 2, 313.51 kJ over kilogram. And Next, uh, at the T3, 28.7 degrees Celsius, we can get the enthalpy 3, 91.70 kJ per kilogram. And lastly, for the T4, 15.7 degrees Celsius, we can get the enthalpy 4, 259.30 kJ per kilogram. And for the coefficient of performance, uh, we can get the answer is uh, 4.360 by the by 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 313.51 minus 91.70 uh, divide by 313.51 minus 262.64. Okay, here the, the 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 graph for the wave op opening we as 
coefficient of performance. Okay, lastly, I will go to the calculation rate of heat transfer. Okay, from the test plan, uh, 0 0.0 to 5 liter per minute is the 8.33 times 10 95 meter cube per second, and the city water is 998.1 kilo kilogram per minute per meter cube. And lastly, uh, the specific what specific heat water 4.18 kilojoule per kilogram time Kelvin. Okay, we can, uh, from this we can get uh, and for the table here we can get the fully open wave flow rate is the negative 0.0237 kilojoule per second. And for the 60 percent open, we can get flow rate zero negative 0.01424 kilojoule per second. Okay, and next we go to the 20 percent open. We can get the flow rate is 0.0427 kilojoule per second. And lastly, uh, last but not least, uh, the fully closed, uh, the flow rate is uh, 2.3603 kilojoule per second. My name is Lim Zhen Wei, and now I will continue with the discussion part. For the first question, what is the factor that would influence the coefficient of performance and how? COP, as affected by the temperature difference, between inside and outside. The COP, the ratio of the cooling load of the culture room to the electricity consumption of the air conditioners, or electrical energy use efficiency of air conditioners, is influenced by several factors. Graph COP show that the COPs of the heat pump system is increasingly from fully closed valve 20% open to 60% open and fully opened valve, respectively. From the result, fully opened 5.008 shows the highest volume flow rate. 60% opened 4.827, 20% opened 4.537, and fully closed 4.360. When the valve fully opened, more water will flow through the pipe, so the result occurs as good heat exchanger in the condenser, which means that the situation indicated the highest coefficient of performance of the heat pump. From the experiment, list down the errors that might influence the results. A refrigerant condenser, having very sharp bends and wherever the board of the pipe is tiny enough, to cause high rate flow that cause excessive refrigerant pressure drop from viscous fraction. Important errors may arise in calculations if the condensation method is assumed to occur at constant pressure. Such limitations should be rigorously true about within the style of instructional instrumentally to provide pregnant result. The refrigerants going away the evaporator can't in most operative conditions, be below close temperature, leading to a high heat gain from the environment to exert superheat. The suction line is sufficiently insulated to permit the belief that this doesn't occur. Viscous frictions within the suction line manufacturing a pressure drop, excluding the very fact that the refrigerant is within the vapor states giving low resistant losses. The suction line is extremely short long, and the pressure drop are quite tiny. For the last question, how to improve the accuracy of experiment results? The accuracy will be improved through the scientific method if every single measurement is created a lot of correct and conjointly through the selection of the instrumentality. Implementing a way that reduces systematic errors can improve accuracy too. Next, normally, the continuous single measurements for each recorder will improve the reliability of single measurements and increase the quantity of repetitions of every measurement and use the average worth. My name is Mama Ali Zaham. So, for my part, I will uh, present about the conclusion. So, throughout this uh, heat pump experiment, we can conclude that the coefficients of performance is directly proportional to the angle of the valve. Second, the, great, the greater the angle of the valve, the greater the flow rate through the condenser. Third, increase in flow rate will 
cause the temperature of the evaporators to decrease and avoid the condenser heat removal and coefficient of performance of the heat pump affected by the volume flow rate of water. So this is for the reference. Thank you.